today. Uh, I'm actually gonna do a video on something else uh, relating to the truck, which you probably already know by the title. But to start things off, I'm rotating the tires. I'm gonna do a little bit of an adjustment on the alignment on it. So we're gonna start with that. All right guys, so now that we have the steering uh, the steering adjusted, I moved this one out like two or a turn and a half. We rotated the tires. Yeah, and the meat and potatoes of today's video. Um, so a lot of you guys know that Chevys or trucks in general get sloppy. Now obviously I don't have any like tie rods or anything, so there's no way anything's sloppy in my steering, but the wheel is still like plays back and forth. Um, Chevys have an adjustment. I don't know if I can get a better angle on this. Probably not without any light. But anyways, Chevys have an adjustment screw on their, their steering box right here. It's a 5 8 nut with a, like a jam nut with a Allen key. So we're gonna go over adjusting that today. Alrighty guys, so we were actually using a 16 because I only had metric wrenches here. And it did a 3 16 Allen key and you're gonna hold the allen key and back the nut off until it's a few turns loose so you can see everything's kind of moving now now what we're going to do is it's going to be kind of hard to hopefully you guys can see what's going on right over here so we're going to tighten i'm going to get this off come on come on do it come on thing so the power steering hose is kind of in the way so it's leaking a little bit of power steering fluid so what we're gonna do so what you want to do is turn it until the you want the nut to be loose but the, the allen key to get tight I gotta make sure that this is the Allen key, not the... So now this has gotten loose. It's gotten uh, tight while the, the jam nut is still loose. So what you're gonna wanna do is, just back it off a quarter of a turn. Hold, hold the Allen key steady and tighten the jam nut up. So hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. So I backed it off a quarter turn, snug the jam nut up, nothing's moving. So now you can see it leaked a little bit, but we're gonna start it, make sure there's no leaks, and then we'll take it for a test drive. All right guys, gotta make sure this isn't leaking. for a test drive and see how it is. Hopefully it's a little bit better. 
Alrighty guys, please do not mind the insane mess of that my truck is, but um, we're gonna go over like how this thing drives now. Hopefully the alignment is a little bit better. I don't know if I messed that up or not. So my truck had a lot of steering wheel play before, um, left to right, you know, like normal, typical, like what you would think in your steering box or your, your uh, pitman arm, idler arm, tie rod ends, all that good normal stuff. And hopefully this fixed it because like I said, I don't really have any issues with tie rods or anything like that because it's all heim joint. But I did notice I was swaying a lot. So it seems to drive good. It might pull a little bit now. As for the steering though, the steering wheel is tight. Holy crap. Like, no joke, this is a fix that you guys need to do that you don't really need to to go buy a new steering box. Just make sure when you, you do it, you tighten it down and back it off a quarter turn. You don't want it to be too tight. Like I guess it'll mess up the tolerances and stuff. But as far as this thing goes for like being better than before, oh man, it is insane. I used to have probably a good like three inches to play on each side. And now there's maybe, maybe an inch, maybe half an inch of play in my steering wheel. Like it's, it's insane. Oh man, I hope this thing drives so much better now. Cause I did have some issues going down the highway instead of the highway where it would like kind of bounce all over the place when I hit road grooves and everything. So, I mean, it still kind of does it, but I don't have a sway bar. I don't have any of that stuff. But as far as the steering wheel goes, man, this is like a hundred times better. I do need to go get a real alignment. I really do. This is, this is like a must do. Like if you guys have sloppy steering and you know your pitman arm, your tie rods, everything is good. And you think it's your box, before you go buy a new one, try and adjust it. It's, it's a 3 16 Allen, it's a 5 8 nut or a 16 mil. And just tighten it down until it gets tight. Like back the nut off, tighten it, back the Allen key off, quarter of a turn, and then, you know, lock the jam nut down. And like, I don't know if you guys can see, but my steering wheel has like, it used to go from like here to here and now it's like there's barely any play in this at all so that's a must do if you guys enjoyed this video if it helped you out go ahead smash that like button and if you're new here please subscribe and hit that bell for the notifications i know you guys like a lot of people have been issues uh finding my videos and not getting notified about it so make sure you hit that bell to make sure you get notified we're gonna keep killing the Duramax game as always. We got uh, we got some cool stuff coming in. I'm thinking about getting a new truck. So if you wanna see that happen, drop a comment on what you think I would get. And uh, have a wonderful day.